after a major snowfall, we're, we're out here to uh, to clean the sidewalks and make their make them passable. Anything you do in a community that's recognized as is uh, helps the community if it helps people get in and around and out and it's uh, it's a good program. The bylaw that my branch is currently enforcing is called the Clean Property Bylaw. Beginning with the bylaw amendment coming into effect January 1st of 2022, um, the new regulation that was put in place is property owners now have 48 hours to clear the snow from their sidewalk. Um, with my back injury I am not able to do any shoveling. My husband is um, in his 70s and he also has some back issues. So I called the center and asked to be put on the list. So the City of Regina Snow Angels Community Grant Program is a funding program for community-based organizations and groups who want to support their communities to remove snow from their properties. It funds volunteer-run community-based snow removal programs. Immediately for us, it was just a question of wanting to take care of the people in our community who can't take care of themselves, who needed a little extra hand. And so that's really the spirit of where the grant started, is how could we do that? What's the most efficient way of doing that? The grant opportunity came up this year. We thought we'd uh, take a chance on it, and, and we got lucky enough to get uh, picked as one of the grantees. So we were able to uh, get some money to actually make some improvements to our garden tractor. Uh, got a snowblower attachment, a couple things like that. That certainly helps us out a lot to make sure that, and we take walks as often as we can, we have a small dog. So to make sure that the sidewalks are cleaned off so that we're safe in walking and, and to help those that can't get out and do it is just, just so very helpful for our community. It feels good to help people out when you can, and uh, I'm sure that the people we're doing it for appreciate our, our uh, attempt at making them more comfortable in their homes.